Hi, my name is Joe Veneri and I'm an applications engineer for Keithley. Today I am going to show you how to do a basic IV characterization using the 2450 and the Kickstart software. The first thing that you want to do is open up the Kickstart software by navigating to your start menu, then your programs list. In your programs list, you will want to navigate to the Keithley Instruments folder and select the Kickstart software. Once Kickstart is opened, you want to select the new Kickstart test. You will want to name your test something unique so that you know exactly what this test is doing. For this example, I will name it test. After you've named your test, you will want to select your instrument. This can be done by selecting the select instrument button and then right clicking on your instrument and clicking add instrument. You will then want to select your test type. You can do this again by navigating over to your test type, right clicking on it and selecting add test type. This test will do a basic voltage sweep ranging from 0 volts to 5 volts in 101 step increments. This test will do a voltage sweep from 0 volts to 5 volts in 101 steps. In this menu, you will be able to select your start voltage, your stop voltage, your number of steps, your voltage range, the current limit, and the delay seconds. To get an IV curve, you will have to make sure that you have measured current selected and measured voltage selected. With measured voltage, you want to make sure that you have the, it programmed rather than measured. To actually create your graph, you will want to select the graph tab and set your X and Y axis respectively. In the X axis, you will want to select SMU1 voltage. In the Y axis, you will want to select SMU1I. Once you have your graph set up, you can press the select test button. For this example, we are running a voltage sweep on an LED. As you can see, the SMU is sourcing voltage at the same time measuring the current and plotting the data on this graph. Here we can see that the SMU reached compliance. Once your sweep has finished, you can do three options. You can export your graph into a PNG file. You can export your sheet data into an Excel file or a CSV file, which can be later opened in Microsoft Excel for further data manipulation. Using this basic information, you can then select different types of sweeps or source modes. These are voltage bias, voltage sweep, voltage list sweep, current bias, current sweep, and current list sweep. Thank you for watching.